Hi guys, my name's Rick Shields and it's a new year. So happy new year and hopefully you're ready to make this year the best golf year you've ever had. That's the plan. We're gonna make this year the best golf year you've ever had. And hopefully you're motivated and ready to make that, make that change and make this either a season where you reduce your score, reduce your handicap, play better golf, start golf. You know, anything that you wanna do in your golf and goals, we can accomplish this year. But we've got to make a start now. We've got to, this is the start of the year and we've got to start making the plans now to help us achieve our goals. And to do that, I would, I'm going to help you. I'm going to give you the advice and the, the, the help that you're going to need to give you the best skill set to make sure that this year is the best year you ever have. Because that's important. You know, we, we want to keep, keep evolving, keep getting better and keep playing good golf. So, what you're going to need first, and this is something that I do on a yearly basis, you're gonna need a golf journal. So grab yourself a golf journal in some description, a pad of paper, whatever you need. Just something where you can make sure that your golf is organized. So making sure that you know what you wanna achieve from your golf and how you're gonna achieve it. And they're the questions I want you to ask first. What we're gonna ask is, where do you want to get to in your golf? So where do you wanna, how do you want your golf to develop this year? So where, where do you aim to be at the end of this year? So ask yourself that question. And I want you to spend some time thinking about that. I want you to spend some time writing your thoughts down. You might already know the, the, the answer to that. You already might know, yeah, this is where I want to be at the end of this year. Others might not. You might look at it and go, I don't really know where I want to be. Have a think, write it down, put some bullet points down of where you would like to see your golf get to at the end of this year. And that could be anything, all personal goals. So do you want to reduce your handicap? Do you want to play better golf? Do you want to hit the ball further? Do you want to hit the ball more consistently? Write all those points down right now to what you want to achieve this year. Once you've done that, I want you to ask yourself the next question. Where are you currently? So where, where is your golf game currently? So write down all of the things that you where you feel like your golf game is currently. So maybe if you have an average score, write down your average score or your handicap or how far you hit the ball currently, or your best score ever. Write down a snapshot of what your golf is right now, so at the start of the year. So now we know where we want to get to, and we know where we're starting. How do we make that connection? How do we make that leap forward? And this is the next question you've got to ask yourself. How will I actually achieve my goals? So what do I need to do to achieve my goals? So this now is a great section to be able to set some goals for yourself to achieve your end goal at the start at the end of the season. So let's take, for example, let's take we want to hit the ball further. Let's just take that as an example. So at the moment, you hit the golf ball 250 yards, but you want to hit it 300 yards, let's say. So we have to find 50 yards somewhere. And this is where you can start to pinpoint exactly what you need to do. So you might be on the list, you might want to think, well, how do I create more club head speed? Well, I've got to look at maybe taking lessons. So think about, right, how do I take lessons and how frequently should I take lessons? And who should I speak to about lessons? And, and have a little plan, have a little think about who you should go and see for golf lessons to help you hit that ball 50 yards further. Then you need to think, well, what equipment am I using? What side of the equipment game now that I'm swinging it better, what side of the equipment game can I improve? And again, you can put that in your goals about how you're going to improve your equipment, how you're going to get custom fit, how you're going to have the right equipment for you. And then you might think, because it's a, it's a distance thing, how do, I, how do I create more power? How do I get stronger? How do I put a program in to make sure that I actually generate more club head speed because I'm stronger? And again, these are things you can start jotting down. Now, I can't give you the answer to these things because everyone's goal is different. But if you know where you want to get to at the end of, of the year and you know where you currently are, you can then start to make a plan of how to get there and keep this golf journal as a reminder of what you're trying to achieve. And every week or every month, however much you want to put time into, and effort into achieving your goal, have a look back and go, where am, where am I now? 
So now I'm hitting the ball 255 yards. Brilliant, I've made progress. Next month I want to hit it 260. Next month I want to hit it this. And then still keep going at your goal and writing it down all the time to help you actually accomplish the goal at the end of this year to make this year the best year you've ever done. You don't need one goal. You could have several goals. You could, you could completely go the whole hog and try and improve every section of your golf game. But you've also got to think time management. So this comes in nicely to my next section. I want to start looking at how you can effectively use your time to improve your golf. So come up with a timetable. So get a timetable of a weekly or a monthly timetable and pen and stick in all the things that you need to do. So I need to go to work between this hour and this hour. I need to see family between this hour and this hour. I need and then think, right, how many hours now can I really put into my golf practice? and put those in your timetable. So if you're gonna say every Monday night I can practice between eight and nine, put that in your diary, put it in your golf journal, and your mission is to try and make sure that you practice efficiently and effectively every time when it's in your actual timetable. And try and do that as many times as you can. You know, you, you're obviously going to all have different time commitments. You're going to, some, some people will be able to have all the time in the world. Some of are going to have very, very limited. But make sure you use your time effectively to get to your goal at the end of the season. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take this journey together to get you in, in, you know, completing your goal. What I'd love you to do is comment down below and let me know what your goals are because I will do as many videos to help you guys improve your goals as I possibly can. If you are local and you want to come and see me for lessons, please feel free. Obviously, I can help you achieve your goals in that way as well. Or go and see some golf pros. Go and see golf pros that can help you, who can actually give you good, solid, factual information that can help you improve your golf. Guys, Golf Journal, where, are you, where do you want to get to? Where are you now and how do I get there? and then timetable your schedule to help you achieve those goals. Let me know, comment down below. Please do tell me your goals. I'd love to hear them, and I can do as many videos as I can to try and help you achieve that. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I do hope you have a phenomenal season this year. I'm sure that's what we all want, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video. <laughs> um, uh, stay tuned to my channel. I'm gonna be, I've got my goals and my, my own goals for this year in my YouTube channel. So stay tuned for that because I'm going to make sure that these I give you the best possible content that you can, I can deliver to make you guys the best golfers that you can be. To not miss out on anything, do subscribe. Click the link down here. Like the video. We look forward to seeing you again in the future and at the end of the season where you've all completed your goals. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.